Carbon Smart A7 Unboxing and Review. This is the Carbon Smart A7 Dual SIM Android Phone Box Pack with a 800MHz processor, 5MP camera. The main features are Android 2.3.6, 3.5 inches capacitive multi touch screen, 5MP camera with dual LED flash, a front camera. 3G supported of up to 7.2 Mbps, GPS, Wi-Fi with hotspot, expandable memory of up to 32 GB, G sensors, proximity sensors, light sensors, Bluetooth and a 1420 mAh battery. The MRP is 8,990 and I got it for around 7,500. Okay, let's open up the box pack. Uh, what you see is the Carbon A7 smartphone. Uh, we'll just keep it aside. Uh, inside the box, uh, you have uh, these accessories, the battery, cables, power adapter, the user manual, and the carbon clinic uh, the warranty card and service center list okay this is the power adapter USB power adapter looks similar to the uh, Micromax uh, A50 the USB to micro USB cable it's all white again the white uh, headphones uh, this is of uh, very good quality Uh, the battery 1420 mAh the A7 user manual and uh, this is the warranty card and the service list Okay, this is the A7. I will just open up the plastic. Okay, this is how it looks from the sides. From the top, you have a center button and three touch sensitive buttons. Okay, this is how the handset looks. 3.5 mm jack and power button. The volume rockers. The micro USB port. A small gap to open up the back cover. Three touch sensitive and a central dedicated button. Call speaker, light sensor and the front camera. 3.5 mm jack the rear camera 5MP with dual LD flash the carbon logo with speaker out this is the front mic and this is how it looks from the back uh, let's open up the back cover this is how you do it and this is the inside uh, you have the first uh, is the WCDMA that is SIM 1 a GSM that is SIM 2 and this is for the micro SD card up to 32 GB now for net usage you will have to use the SIM 1 I'll insert the SIM cards and the micro SD card 8 GB I will remove it from my A50 okay so it's inserted I'll insert the battery
and cover it up. I'll press the power button for two seconds and it will start up the phone. Now the Carbon A7 is much better than the Micromax A50. Uh, the screen res resolution is much better and uh, this handset comes with uh, a more powerful processor. Uh, that's the Carbon Smart logo. And what you see now is the startup graphics. Uh, it's pretty good. Uh, the screen quality is very good. Okay, uh, the SIM uh, has not yet been detected. Uh, I might have to do some settings. Still showing no services, no service for both the SIMs. I'll just set it up. Okay, uh, now it's uh, okay. The SIM has now been set up, and both the SIMs are active now. This is the menu options. These are the pre installed apps on A7. The touch is very smooth, very fast, and very responsive. Okay, let's check out the apps. You have App to SD, Browser, Contact, Downloads, Facebook, Gmail. Uh, messaging uh, navigation you have got office suit uh, this is something that comes pre-installed we'll check that out later uh, talk you have uh, SMS tool etc now uh, there's whatsapp YouTube uh, now let's check out the office suit uh, okay I think this is a free version uh, you will be able to read the office documents but uh, you'll not be able to create one uh, but this thing comes pre-installed let's go back the Facebook app that comes pre-installed you just have to enter email and password uh, app to SD is uh, another app that will help you move applications from your phone memory to the SD card I'll just go back and uh, accept the user agreement and that's it uh, one more thing you'll note here is that uh, the total memory is 176 internal memory and available is 117 the dual sim settings you can switch off uh, any of the sim cards you want I'll just leave it for now the wireless and network settings uh, these are the options in the wireless and network settings you have tethering and portable hotspot in call settings you have subscription 1 and 2 uh, which is basically sim card 1 and 2 you can also reject a call by simply sending an sms in sounds you have again you can set up sound for sim 1 and sim 2 different ringtones in display uh, these are the settings uh, this uh, phone also comes with light sensors which will change the brightness depending upon the environment this is the location GPS satellite if you want to use it storage uh, we'll check out the storage uh, I already have the 8 GB card and let's check out the internal memory which uh, it says is about 117 MB free The more information about the phone uh, the model number is a7 android 2.3.6 the build number etc system is up to date let's go back okay, these are the options on the home screen go 
Google Play. Now let's try the call option. Phone. You will see the dialer, and you can see uh, the same one and same two options. So you can directly call from any of the sims if you want. Uh, these are the other options uh, GPS, lock, data, Wi Fi, and even Bluetooth. Now let's uh, try the stock browser. I have already set up my Wi Fi account and I'm going to load my website. Okay, I'll just enter Kogi dot in. Okay, the site is now loaded. Uh, this handset supports multi-touch, so we'll try zooming in. As you can see, the rendering is a bit slow. It is noticeable, but uh, uh, it's okay. Overall, the page has loaded and it's uh, the scrolling is very smooth. There is a bit of lag uh, when rendering. When you zoom in, there's a bit of lag. Now let's try loading a very heavy site, the Times of India. I'll just search for Times of India on Google. And uh, okay, I've got the site. Now let's visit the Times of India. Okay, the site is now loaded. You can change the orientation and uh, there is a small effect. You can see this uh, animation effect when you try to change the orientation okay now let's try scrolling down again it's smooth but when I try to zoom in let's now check it out I'll try to zoom in and uh, notice a slight lag there's a slight lag okay yeah okay By default, Flash will not work on this browser. All you need to do is go to Google Play and download the Flash player. That's what I did and it's working now. Okay, now I have downloaded the benchmarking tool called Quadrant. We will use this tool to find out more information about this phone. Okay, we'll just go to the system information. Uh, you see the model number is A7 and uh, the CPU is ARMv7 uh, at 800 MHz single core uh, the memory is uh, 433 MB the display resolution is 320 by 480 at 160 dpi uh, this one also comes with a GPU and Reno 200 And these are the sensors. I'll delete the browser from the home screen. Okay, now this is the Carbon A7 handset. And uh, next to it, uh, I have the Micromax A50. As you can see, uh, the Micromax A50 has got a glossy look and uh, Carbon A7 uh, which is again white in color but uh, has got a matte look finish uh, the A50 of course shines a lot thickness wise uh, both are almost identical and uh, the display screen is bigger much bigger on the A7 in fact the quality is also much better than as compared with a50 I have set up the same live wallpaper on both these handsets and we'll just uh, switch this on and see uh, which of the screen is better now this is the A7 and next to it is the Micromax A50 okay I've loaded the menu on the Micromax A50 and I'll just load the menus on the Carbon A7 as you can see the carbon a7 quality is much better than a50 
now let's run the quadrant uh, full benchmark test uh, this will take some time so I'll just fast forward okay these are the results uh, the device is at uh, 1290 and you can see the comparison with other devices you have the Play Store you can download apps from Google Play Store games or apps whatever you like I do remember this, that uh, this handset comes with a GPU an Adreno 200 GPU so you'll be able to play a lot of games these are the apps available on Google Play well that's it for now uh, this is the carbon A7 the carbon A7 thank you for watching this video